Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid and today I'm going to be showing you how to get floating messages and notifications on your device. So guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so if you've seen the feature from Facebook Messenger which gives you that little floating circle on the side and you can move it around this is basically what this app lets you do. So I'm going to have a link down below for you to install the app and it will take you to the XDA thread and you'll scroll down and get the latest version of the app. And for this uh, to install you're going to need to have a file explorer. So you can use any file explorer you want. So once you've downloaded this you're going to want to click on it and this is going to give you install block. We're going to go to settings. And now we're going to go down to the bottom and check unknown sources. And click OK. After that, we're going to click back. So this is where you're going to go into your file explorer. So I'm using root explorer for this video. Uh, it doesn't matter which explorer you use, though. So if you install it straight to your phone you're going to want to go down to SD card and to download if you install it from somewhere else then on your computer and moved it over here then just go to wherever you moved it so there it is now I'm going to click install and we're going to click install again and done once you've done that you want to go into your settings and you want to go into wherever accessibility is on your device. So there's accessibility. And I'm going to go down and where it says floating notifications. Oops. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on. And OK. And it will give you some options below that cannot be enabled. So we're going to click OK. Once that's done, you're just going to get this little bubble right here. And this is a test so you know that the service is started. So now we're going to go back home. And we're going to go into the app that you installed. Which should be somewhere in your app drawer. So there it is, floating notifications. And we're going to open it up. Here we could choose a theme. We have default light or default dark. I'm going to choose default dark. You can change the icon size so we can make it bigger up to the size right here. And we could also change the font size to be bigger also. So guys, if we swipe over, it will take us into all of our, our apps here. And basically, you can enable any app that you want. So the first app, uh, I'll enable a couple right now. So let's go enable email over here. And so basically what some of these do, these little buttons over here, this will overlay your text. Um, the second one will give you kind of a bigger picture of your whole email and expand it. And the last one will light up, turn on your device when it is off. So if you get a notification your device is off, it will turn it on for you. So let's go through here and enable those different items so you go through here enable gmail and and let's enable google one more so basically this will work with any push notifications that you get that's a real bonus you can use basically anything instagram all those different apps that you want and so now let's ease it out and I'll get some notifications and be right back and show you how it If you look at my device, I have some notifications popped up right here. And as you can see, I can move them around and they're always there. So basically when you click on it, it will give you all the different notifications you've received. If you want to get rid of one, you will just double tap it and it will be deleted. So you could go right here and just move around and so basically we could as I said move it around wherever you want and 
to click on it, it will give you a preview of what happened. So it says a new message was arrived and an email was sent. So for example, if I want to see my email, I'll click on it and it will take me to the email. As you can see I still have my messaging icon right here. So guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And um, also check out my website www.phonetechkid.com Like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter at Phone Tech Kid. And yeah, thanks for watching.